10 most unbelievable images. Number 10, Mexican Lego Land. I know what you're thinking. This has to be a child's Lego set, or maybe a snapshot from Legoland, the giant theme park with Lego inspired attractions and walk through cities. Perhaps it's an image from an old school video game with pixelated graphics. Nope. This is the San Buenaventura Complex in Ixapaluca, located on the eastern outskirts of Mexico City. The San Buenaventura is the second largest community in Ixapaluca. The 2005 census reported that the town has a population of 48,037 inhabitants. Number 9. What a hole. I know this image looks fake. Like something out of an action-adventure Saturday morning cartoon. Goblins and demons should be flying out of the crevice. But it's a real natural occurrence caused by a sinkhole. Sinkholes can appear anywhere and can occur from anything. Natural disasters like earthquakes or floods can trigger these phenomena. Most sinkholes appear when rocks, which make up the ground, are dissolved by groundwater circulating through them. As these rocks dissolve, caverns develop underground. If there's not enough support, then a sudden collapse of land surface is imminent. This particular sinkhole was found in Guatemala City in 2010. It was 65 feet wide and 300 feet deep. The culprit? Many theories say that Guatemala City's poor sewage system is responsible. Number eight, Gemini Kitty. This cat, affectionately named Venus, is completely two-toned on her adorable face. Born in 2009, little Venus is called a Chimera cat, which means she has the DNA of two cats in one adorable body. Complete with two different colored eyes, this feisty feline has become an internet sensation. Venus and her owner have appeared as guests on Fox and the Today Show. The adorable feline has more than 680,000 followers on Instagram and over a million likes on Facebook. This two-faced cat even has her own line of merchandise including a calendar and a stuffed animal. I mean, just look at how cute and fuzzy she is. Number seven, floating sea serpent. These beachcombers crowding around this sea monster look concerned and somewhat perplexed. Just look at all those hands on their shirtless hips. The sad true story behind this very real internet image is that the poor creature is really a sperm whale, which has died sometime in the ocean waters and has now been washed ashore. The unusual shape and color are caused from putrefaction. Number six, split level road. This is a real photograph taken in Tohoku, Japan from 2011 after one of the largest earthquakes in history hit. It was rated a 9.0 on the Richter scale and was followed by aftershocks, landslides, and massive tsunami waves. Some have speculated that this separation occurred because the road was built one lane at a time, creating a natural rift between the two lanes. Number five, room with a cloud. Fake as this image may seem, it is actually a real cloud inside the Hotel Maria Capel located in the Netherlands and is the work of Dutch visual artist Bernard Smidel. Bernard measures the temperature and humidity in a room and utilizes smoke, water, air, and light in order to create real live indoor clouds. The typical lifespan of these sculptures is only 10 seconds, just long enough to take a snapshot. Bird Knot calls this series of cloud art Nimbus. Number four, Pretty in Pink Lake. All those girls with Hello Kitty accessories are really going to love this. This is Lake Retba in Senegal, located in Northwest Africa, and yes, it's pink. The link is pink from the high salt concentration in the water, as high as 40%, which creates a buildup of microalgae called Dunelila salila, a bacteria which loves salt. Salt is harvested from this lake and used or sold by the locals who have nicknamed the water formation Lac Rose. Its pink coloring is especially visible during the dry season, which lasts from November to June. Number three. Elevators to Hell. This image is taken from Stockholm, Sweden, a part of a project to make their underground metro system into an art gallery. 
Each of the 90 stations is decorated with a theme. The Solna Centrum Metro Station theme is the Mouth of Hell. This lavish art came into existence in 1975. Artists Anders Aberg and Carl Olaf Borjek painted the exposed bedrock of the underground concourse in shades of red and crimson to give this haunting, hellacious look. As easy as this makes identifying which stop to get off on, some part of me would hesitate to walk up those steps. Number two, the power of prayer. These footsteps embedded into the wooden floorboards were made by a Buddhist monk who prayed in the exact same spot every day, multiple times a day, for over 20 years. Hu Chi from China, now 72, still completes his routine prayer in the monastery town of Tongren in the Qinghe province. Hu is a doctor of traditional medicine and hopes that his dedication will take him closer to his goal. A smooth transition into the afterlife, Hua has become an inspiration to younger monks who pass through the monastery. Number one, from the ashes. This photograph looks like some art school kid's final project done with expensive photoshopping, but in reality, the photo is a real image of a hibiscus flower which bloomed after Mount Cinnabung erupted, covering the surrounding ground in volcanic ash. It happened on November of 2013. The volcanic eruption nearly left the entire landscape of Indonesia decimated into black and gray shades. A journalist from Compass and a freelance photographer drove from Tiga Pankur to the Mardinding village. It was in the Mardinding village that this beautiful, unbelievable image was captured on film. <laughs>